Hi everybody, it's Miss Jennifer from Craig and Library with our good friend Dewey the dog here. Um, Dewey and I are going to do a new program. It's called Exploring the Alphabet, where each week we talk about a new letter with our fun alphabet tree. We're going to go through all of letters. We'll have a new craft bag every week, and we're going to have lots of fun together. Welcome back to Exploring the Alphabet with Dewey and I. Our letter today is, that's right, K. Yay! Are you guys ready for our alphabet tree song? Here we go around the alphabet tree, the alphabet tree, the alphabet tree. Here we go around the alphabet tree, singing sounds of the letters. This is a sound that K can make, ka, ka, ka. This is a sound that K can make, ka, ka, ka. In words like Kate. Kate is capitalized because Kate is a person. Kate is actually the library director's name. And K is in kitchen, the place where all the yummy food comes from. K is in kind, because it's so nice to be kind to everyone we meet. K is in king. K is in knee. Show me your knee. K is in kite. Ooh. K is in knot. Let's see if we can turn this scarf into a knot over and under and over and under. K is in key. Here is our keys here. K is in knit. K is in kick. K is in kangaroo. K is in keep. So Dewey wanted me to tell you that we have a special circumstance with our K words. So words like knee and not and knit, the K is actually silent. You'll learn much more about silent letters in school. Good job, Dewey. Thank you for telling me that. All right, we're going to try to do some writing. All right, remember I'm left-handed, so your letters might look different than my letters or our writing styles. And as always, listen to the way your teacher tells you how to write your letters. All right, so capital K first. Starts up at the top, goes all the way down. And we kind of start over here and we're gonna meet in kind of the middle of that K. So, whoop, and we're gonna do the same thing going down. And that is our capital K. Our lowercase K is basically the same thing, just kind of smaller and shorter. And that's our case. All right. We have a kitten rhyme because it's the three little kittens, right? So, right, what color are our kittens? Yes, they're black. So here are our three kitties. Just put them right here. The three little kittens have lost their mittens and they didn't know where to find them. And they begin to cry. Here comes the mama kitten. What? You've lost your mitten? You naughty kittens. You shall have no pie. There's our pie. But our pie looks so scrumptious. And so the kittens, they looked high and they looked low. And this little kitten found a color mitten is this. That's right, found a purple mitten. And she ran off to have some pie. And this little kitten surged left and right. And she found a yellow mitten. And she went off to have her pie. And this little kitten surged everywhere. And he found a red mitten. And that all of them went off to have their pie. Yum. We love pie. Do you guys have a favorite kind of pie? I think my favorite kind, ooh, it's hard because I'm a pie person. Blueberry maybe. But it could also be lemon red. That's fair. Cherry is good. Raspberry is good. They're all good. Dewey and I want to share some books with you. Let's 
see what we have. Ned the Knitting Pirate, one of those silent Ks. We've got Ella McKean, Kickball Queen. Kickball. We've got Kitten and the Night Watchman. Ooh, there's a little kitten here. Peeking out. We've got the Red Knit Cap Girl to the Rescue. Another one of those silent letters. From Kalamazoo to Timbuktu. Kalamazoo. That's a fun word to say. We've got the Bagel King. Yum. Ooh, another kitten. Kitten's first full moon. Another kitten book. This one is a, new, a Caldecott winner for artwork. We've got all kinds of kisses. Kind and kisses. And our last one is the Pig Kahuna, <laughs> which is fun. And we've got a kite craft for you guys. You can pick this up at the children's desk anytime that we're open. And Dewey and I are going to do our alphabet song, our closing song. Alphabet time is over, clap your hands. Alphabet time is over, clap your hands. Alphabet time is done, and we hope that you had fun. Alphabet time is over, clap your hands. We'll see you guys next week.